Well, in 2016, there are two points that are clearly um, a breakthrough. First of all is we've had three or four years of people becoming aware of the market. And so there's a certain amount of fatigue and people are expecting to see results. So I think we're going to go through this point of disillusionment. But once we get through that, then we'll start to see real IoT projects coming to life. The second is we need developers. Developers to write applications, get excited about writing IoT um, applications and deploy them. So I would argue these are the two big things we're going to see in 2016. When I, think of, when I think of IoT deployments, I use this analogy of paintball. People just splatter the wall with as many IoT applications as possible and hope that they're going to work and hope they're going to be in a safe environment instead of having the systems discipline that they might have had if they slowed down and had maybe a CIO, a COO, and CFO come together and deploy them in a, in a, in a, in a meaningful manner. So we've looked at this market really carefully, and manufacturing is by far the biggest, whether it be discrete or process manufacturing. So everybody gravitates towards those because they say, these are the big markets. But in actual fact, retail, even though it's, it's probably about a fifth of the size, has the capability to grow much, much faster. So I would argue in 2016, retail is the one to place your bets. Well, I, I'm, I'm a big proponent of, of self-driving cars. And everyone goes like, well, that's easy. You just put a lot of sensors in the cars. But I think when you, when you as an infrastructure plumber, when you look at what you need behind the scenes, um, it's going to drive so much innovation. It's going to drive 5G because of the response times. It's going to drive uh, services inside the car. It'll eventually disrupt the way we buy cars. Um, it'll help, uh, for example, aged parents who you don't want to drive a car, but you don't want them housebound. Um, it has so many implications on society. Well, this is all about connectivity. And the more you get connected, the more things will happen. So carriers are looking for this way to increase their subscriptions, whether it be on, for example, automobile, getting the cars connected, whether it be just simply getting devices connected. So I think the carriers are looking for this way to monetize something they haven't been able to do in the past.